This is Top 30. Coming up, we take a look at the best and worst airlines. A new study shows that women are less prepared for retirement than men. And the biggest great white shark on record is causing a frenzy. Hey there, welcome to the show. I'm Kristen Smith, and here are 30 things you need to know right now. Purdue Foods recalled more than 68,000 pounds of chicken nuggets that were shipped to retailers nationwide because they may contain small pieces of wood. The ready-to-eat Purdue Simply Smart Organics breaded chicken breast nuggets gluten-free have a Best Buy date of October 25th, 2019. And the Louisville Airport is officially changing its name to honor their hometown hero, the late great Muhammad Ali. It will be called Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Ali died in 2016, but his widow, Lonnie Ali, says she's proud of the name change. And finally, this is not a photoshopped picture. This is marine biologist Ocean Ramsey free diving off the shore of Oahu with one of the largest great white sharks ever recorded, affectionately named Deep Blue. The female great white is thought to be pregnant and at an estimated 20 feet long, she weighs 2.5 tons. Researchers have been tracking her for years, but it's the first time she's been seen up close since 2015. Ramsey said, I would strongly advise against people purposely jumping in the water with the great white shark. I wouldn't even be in the water if I wasn't there purposely trying to document and record IDs and behavior. Makes for a great Instagram photo, but I don't know about you, all the likes in the world couldn't get me to jump in the water with a shark that big, or any shark for that matter. Let's move on though to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Jerry Willis. Jerry, Apple is contributing to an important new healthcare study. Hey, Chris said Johnson & Johnson says it has joined with Apple on a research study that will test the Apple Watch's ability to help detect early irregular heart conditions. The company will use its J&J developed heart health monitoring app on the latest Apple Watch. Now, the app will help detect the irregular heart rhythm of people living with atrial fibrillation. That's a type of heart arrhythmia that can go unnoticed and lead to strokes. Tesla killing its referral program after the company was forced to give away over 80 new Tesla Roadsters for free to people who brought hundreds of customers to the electric automaker. And Burger King is going after McDonald's again. This time, the fast food chain is taking aim at the Big Mac with the launch of its new Big King XL sandwich, which it says outsizes the competition. Now through January 31st, Grubhub users can get the King XL for free on the Grubhub app with orders of three bucks or more in participating areas. And I understand Burger King has another way to get the sandwich for free, and it involves coins from McDonald's. The Mac coins were distributed for McDonald's 50th anniversary and were redeemable for a free sandwich, but that offer now expired. You have to be in Mickey D's hometown of Chicago to get the freebie. Very interesting. Thanks, Sherry. If you're watching this show with a cup of coffee in your hand, enjoy it while you can. While our favorite domestic coffees like Arabica and Robusta are placed at risk for extinction by global warming, we have an even larger problem. Coffee producers thought blending domestic species with wild species would be like sending these domestic species a life raft to make sure we never run out. The wild species, which is a hardier bean, helps the domesticated species adapt to climate change and resist pests and diseases that put them at risk. But a new research study by Coo Royal Botanic Gardens in the United Kingdom says that now 60% of wild coffee species could soon be extinct. Drastic changes to our earth like climate change, deforestation, warmer temperatures, too much rain or even not enough rain could prevent some of these wild species from growing. Senior researcher Aaron Davis says coffee plants, like many others in the wild, can only grow under very specific conditions. Davis also says that some species could be extinct in as soon as 10 to 20 years. Of the 124 wild coffee species, 75 have been reported endangered. To avoid extinction, it will likely require a plan against climate change and global warming to protect the future of coffee, our favorite part of the morning. Let's go to Danielle Knox now from Fox 35 Orlando. She has what you need to know today. So Danielle, I hear having a messy home may be bad for you. Hi, Kristen. Well, if your home is just a little bit cluttered, it could be more than just an eyesore. It could actually be impacting your health. Listen to this. There's some new research from UCLA that found mothers who described their homes as cluttered had a stress hormone profile indicative of chronic stress. These moms also tended to have a more depressed mood throughout the day. They were more tired in the evenings and had a difficult transition from work to home. 
The British Nutrition Foundation has released a new user-friendly portion size guide. It uses hands as a visual for appropriate serving. So for example, a serving of pasta or rice should be no bigger than your cupped hands. A baked potato, the size of a fist. A serving of cheese, the size of two thumbs and nuts should fit in the palm of your hand. Officials say weighing out or measuring with cups and spoons, it really isn't practical. But I gotta tell you that two thumbs for cheese, that gets two thumbs down for me. Well, if you do your homework, I'll let you play on your electronic device. How many of us parents have done this with our kids? I know I have, and it turns out there's some new research, though, that suggests parents who reward kids with more screen time for good behavior and then take it away when they misbehave may actually be making their youngsters even more tech-obsessed. Scientists in Canada studied 62 kids from ages 18 months to 5 years old, and they found this is similar to rewarding kids with sweets when they do something good. It actually heightens their attraction to them and that's what you need to know but Kristen I don't know about you it, it works for me yeah sometimes as parents we've just got to do whatever it takes thanks Danielle let's talk about my heritage the popular genealogy platform it's had a few hits of bad news lately but it's now taken swift action to address their latest problems this comes after scammers had some 2400 of the company's DNA testing kits sent to individuals who had not ordered them but the scammers weren't intent on exploiting genetic information instead they were focused on a third-party run holiday refer a friend program which promised a $10 Amazon gift card for each referral made dead set on stealing as many cards as possible, hackers ordered the unsolicited DNA kits using stolen credit cards and personal information, most of which was taken from Brazil, India, and the U.S. Scammers then had the hard-to-trace gift cards sent to phony email accounts. According to one MyHeritage exec, as complaints rolled in, they began suspecting fraud on December 24th. Two days later, they stopped issuing gift cards before terminating the referral program altogether on New Year's Day. The gift card scam is unrelated to a hack reported last June in which the email addresses and passwords of some 92 million MyHeritage users were stolen. Well, the odds are not in your favor when it comes to retirement if you're a woman. It starts with the gender pay gap being worse than we originally thought, with women earning an overall average of 39% less than men. To further put it into perspective, a new study said if two recent college graduates wanted to have the same amount of money saved for retirement, the man would need to save 10% of his salary, while the woman would need to save 18%. Overall, women have less disposable income to save or invest for retirement. Plus, women statistically live longer than men, so they really need a secure retirement. According to to the Teachers Insurance and Annuity Association of America, because women live longer, they tend to end up with higher health care expenses, especially if they outlive a husband. And women who have children lose out with the pay gap of nearly three times that of a non-mother in the workforce. Lost income that has been given the nickname mommy penalty. It can sound discouraging, but thinking ahead early on will help. It's easier said than done, but save your money. And if your company offers a 401k, utilize it. If you don't have a plan offered by your workplace, look into a traditional or Roth IRA retirement savings account. And finally, do everything you can to keep your debt under control. Still ahead, many women are losing their hair. We'll talk about ways you can stop it. And there's a new house plant that's saving lives. Don't go anywhere. Top 30 will be right back. Welcome back. Carrie Lake from Fox 10 Phoenix brings you this week's life hacks. So Carrie, good to see you. What do you have for us? Hi, Kristen. I've got a great life hack that will come in handy, especially if you eat fast food in the car. You know how these ketchup packages are when you're eating your French fries. They're just gross and a mess. That's because we've been opening them wrong all these years. You don't want to tear down like this and have a ketchup package that looks like this. You want to tear directly across and then you have a nice dipping package for your ketchup. Next, if you're like me, you've got a family and there's not enough room in the refrigerator for all the stuff you need, just go to any homeware store and buy a little shelf and look at all the space you can create. As you pull out the milk, look at all of that. You've got two extra areas to store food. And finally, you want a healthy breakfast, but you don't want to spend a lot of time. This is perfect. Take a plate, put some butter on it, and crack an egg. Then cover that egg and put it in the microwave for one minute. When you pull it out of the microwave, you will have a perfect fried egg, and it's super easy. 
Back to you, Kristen. I've got to try that fried egg trick at home. I love it. Thanks, Carrie. Well, despite intense criticism about the way Facebook handles privacy concerns, many users still don't know what information is being collected about them. According to a recent survey conducted by the Pew Research Center, 74% of users were not aware Facebook lists their interests to advertisers or that these interests can be found on the ad preferences page of their profile. Interests can range from pop culture to consumer purchases to political preferences to your multicultural affinity. Generally, Facebook creates these interests based on what you've liked on its platform. In a survey, 51% said they would not be comfortable with Facebook making such a list. And while Facebook does allow you to monitor your interests and hide ads from certain companies, only one in four users were aware that an ad preferences page even exists. To get to the page, go to settings and then click on the ads tab on the left side of the screen. That will take you to your ad preferences page, which will show you all of the interests Facebook thinks you have. You can also change your privacy settings to limit what information is shared with advertisers. So remember, in an age when more data is being collected about you than ever before, it's important to be aware of what you're allowing to be shared. For some women, when it's time to get ready, sometimes it's not our clothes or makeup that may take forever, but our hair. The time-saving solutions for some may be ponytails, chemical relaxers or perms, extensions, weaves, or even a heavy amount of heat and gel. But an eye-opening article in Self Magazine warns against traction alopecia. According to the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, it's defined as hair loss caused by a repeated pulling on your hair, especially near the hairline. Many tight hairstyles that women use pull on the strand that's connected to the hair follicle. It then can cause thin, broken hairs and bald spots. Sometimes you can spot traction alopecia before balding or thinning occurs. You may have increased tenderness, stinging, crusting, or small bumps on your scalp. Women use these styles not just for convenience, but because they're trying to fit into corporate America and changing societal definitions of beauty. The good news is that traction alopecia can be prevented by avoiding heat, wearing loose ponytails, braids, and buns, giving your hair a break in between styles, avoiding chemical relaxers and perms, using satin headbands and pillowcases, and finally, embracing the beauty of your natural hair. Have you ever made a to-do list and felt like you just didn't have enough time to get everything done? Well, it turns out there's a solution for that. And Cody Goff, host of the Curiosity Daily Podcast, is here to help. So Cody, I hear we should be using our calendar more effectively. That's right, Kristen. There's a super effective way to manage your responsibilities without a to-do list. I'm talking about time boxing. Basically, all you have to do is move your to-do list to your calendar. This turns your calendar into a place to keep track of your time commitments, whether they're work-related, social, or even solitary. So let's say you're giving a presentation. You'll schedule a meeting, sure, but you'll also block off time in your calendar to make a meeting agenda, finish making your presentation, stuff like that. This actually solves a lot of problems with to-do lists. For one, once you've timeboxed your week, you won't need to think about which thing to do next. Timeboxing also gives you time constraints. Have you ever spent an entire hour messing with the formatting on that one slide in your presentation? Timeboxing makes you really think about how much time your tasks deserve. Plus, it shows you how busy you actually are. It'll help you see when you can take on a new project and when you just can't. You will have to estimate how long it'll take to do each task, but if you overestimate your time needs, then you'll be booked solid for productivity. Kristen? You know, I've been doing that for the past year or so, and it totally works for me. Great advice. Thanks, Cody. You can check out more on curiosity.com, and Top 30 will be right back. Welcome back to Top 30. A new report counted all the lost bags and delayed flights to rank the best airlines and the worst. The Wall Street Journal examined reports from passengers as well as data from the Department of Transportation and the analytics firm Mass Flight to arrive at their scores. Delta came out on top. It canceled less than 1% of its flights last year after spending $20 million to buy more de-icing equipment. Weather has a huge impact on an airline's reliability. Spirit ranked fourth. It had the lowest rate of mishandled bags. American came in next to last. It canceled three times as many flights as Delta and lost twice as many bags. The airline says it has new plans to speed up loading and unloading planes. Frontier came in last. The airline blamed a contract dispute with pilots that dragged on for two years. It just signed a new deal and hopes to improve reliability. In a bit of good news for flyers, the industry lost fewer bags and bumped fewer people than in 2017. 
And there's a surprising reason why a growing number of Americans are quitting their jobs. Almost three quarters of employees provide some form of care for a family member. That's according to a new study by Harvard Business School. About a third of those workers say they've left a job because it was too hard to balance work and family obligations. Some left to take care of children, while others quit to care for an elderly family member or a disabled spouse. More than half of those who quit also said the high cost of getting paid help contributed to their decision. The study says that's due to a disconnect between the benefits offered through the workplace and the ones employees say they need. Just 10% of workplace plans offer subsidies for elder care. The researchers concluded by not offering benefits that employees actually want, companies incur millions of dollars of hidden costs due to employee turnover. The study recommends that employers invest in helping their workforce meet caregiving obligations without sacrificing their careers. Well, when it comes to cleaning, you can wipe, wash, scrub, and sweep away most of the dirt in your house, but there's no simple way to get rid of the nasty chemicals in your air. That is, until now. Researchers from the University of Washington have come up with an eco-friendly solution, a genetically modified pothos ivy plant, also known as devil's ivy, a very common bright green vine-like house plant. You may already use air filters to keep offending air particles away, but some hazardous compounds are too small to trap. Dangerous molecules like chloroform and benzene can build up in your home when you shower, boil water, or store lawnmowers and cars in attached garages. And alarmingly, exposure to these molecules molecules has been linked to cancer. But now the genetically modified pothos ivy plant expresses a 2E1 protein that removes chloroform and benzene from the air around it. So not only will your guests thank you for constantly clean air in your house, this plant will also add a nice nature presence in your home. I don't know about you, but I was so excited when I heard the Spice Girls were reuniting and hitting the road this year. And Elizabeth Stanton from Popstar Magazine joins us with the inside scoop. Hi, Liz. It's true, Kristen. Fans went crazy when one of the biggest girl bands in the world announced their reunion tour for 2018. For years, rumors were swirling about the Spice Girls reuniting, and now we have a confirmation. They're back, but they will perform one member short, Victoria Beckham has announced that she will not be joining the tour. However, the rest of the girls, Ginger, Scary, Baby, and Sporty, will take to the stage for a 23-date UK tour from May to June. The Spice Girls' huge success in the 90s has never faded, and tickets for this tour sold like hotcakes. Now the set list is still a mystery, but fans can guarantee that they'll hear some of their favorite hits. Sadly, there are currently no dates set for appearances in the US, but we can hold out hope. Back to you, Kristen. Who doesn't love the Spice Girls? And hopefully they plan some US dates soon. Thanks, Liz. Top 30, we'll be right back. Welcome back. In today's Hometown Stories from Fox 4 Dallas, every Monday, a group of women at the Meadowstone Place Retirement Center gather to sew, crochet, and knit for the community. Fittingly, they call their group Pins and Needles. The ladies create a variety of items like red scarves for veterans, hats for newborn babies, and handmade teddy bears that are given to Dallas police officers to comfort kids at crime scenes. And one member says it's important to lend a helping hand when possible. It's the whole value of life. If we can't help each other and love each other in life, life loses its meaning. And in our final story from Fox 2 Detroit, 98-year-old Dorothy Smith lives at Beaumont Commons in Dearborn, Michigan. She's also a World War II veteran. Dorothy received her nursing degree in 1942 and joined the Air Force shortly thereafter. She became a nurse at the Rapid City Army Air Base in South Dakota and treated servicemen who contracted meningitis. But most importantly, she met her future husband, Floyd Smith, at the officers club on the base. Her advice to younger generations is to do what you want and enjoy it. Well, maybe the news of the day here, chocolate is a better cough suppressant than cough syrup, at least according to a research group at the University of Hull in Yorkshire, England. They found a chocolate-based medicine called Rococo to be favorable over regular cough syrup. This is because an alkaloid in cocoa is better at suppressing coughs than codeine. In addition, the soothing properties of cocoa are thought to be stickier, which coats the throat's nerve endings that trigger a cough. In a case study of 163 patients, the result 
results show that those on the chocolate-based medication reported a significant improvement in their symptoms within just two days, rather than those on traditional cough syrup. It sounds too good to be true, but they recommend sucking on a square of chocolate to alleviate a cough. Sounds like a sweet remedy to me. And that's it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. And here's what's coming up on the next Top 30. One of America's biggest chains is trying to make its convenience stores more convenient. We'll tell you how. Plus, the low-maintenance pet that's popular with millennials. And a new show has Americans cutting down on clutter. And you'll be surprised at who's benefiting. You can also listen to today's biggest stories on the Top 30 podcast. It's all coming up on the next Top 30.